When we see a diamond, we see something polished and refined. We think of the glamour of its sparkle and shine, but a diamond never starts out the way we imagine. Diamonds always begin in the rough. A diamond is nothing more than coal that refused to give in under pressure. And only after being put through the fire, that immense heat for a long period of time, does it turn into something more spectacular, a diamond. A diamond comes in all different colors, shapes, and sizes. It's the hardest natural substance known to man. It can't be scratched, but instead leaves its mark on others. This strength didn't happen overnight. It developed through a long and difficult process. Diamonds are brought to the surface with violent pressure that comes with the eruption of a volcano. Do you see it? The pressures faced in crisis and hardship and in trials cause the hidden treasures within us to emerge and rise to the surface. These times don't define us, they refine us. And the more we overcome, the more valuable we become. Tonight, We've been showcasing a year that started in darkness. But as we've seen, there are so many among us who have been lighting the way, all of those who are formed diamonds in the rough. And now, we take it to the baseball diamond to honor two of the greats, welcoming them into the Houston Sports Hall of Fame. How y'all feeling out there, man? If you know you Houston strong, I need you to give me a round of applause one second for Jeff Bagwell, Craig Bizio. We're going to do this for Sports Authority. And I go by the name of Trey Two. Yeah. Funny how they made it from nothing. Learn how to fight. Even through the center of dark, witness the light. Never thought you'd make it to great. You could have been right. And you were down in high in the sky. Witness the flight. MVP. Silver Slugger, do it for Houston, never know what to say. Bad will, BTO, true brothers. Every day, blue and the orange, you know the colors. QB, 75, made them respected. When they gave it, y'all on the field, made them respected. Well enough to go with the pressure when they get hectic. Do enough to grip in the strokes, never regret it. BTO, have to hit, numbers up. 3,000 plus 6 0, number up. Bad will, been certified the home brother. Okay, from going under, undefeated spirit, feel like you never can lose. But they been through Ain't too many can get in their shoes. This one here is for Cammy and DK. I hear them yelling, let's go stroll, it's time to play. Say, shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. The diamond in the sky. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond, like a diamond in the sky. 
If you got love for Houston, I need you to make the much noise as you can one time for Jeff Bagwell, Craig Vizio. This Houston strong, this is what Houston United look like. Much love sports authority. I go by the name of Trader True. I just wanted to represent a real one while they still living and giving their flowers. Much love, salute. big city with a lot of great players, um, coaches that have, that have been in the city and to be a part of it. Uh, it's, it's humbling and I appreciate it very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage former Houston Astro, Moises Alou. Good evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Houston Support Award, for having me in this great evening here. Um, I played for so many teams. I wasn't blessed enough uh, to play just for one team, but at the same time, gave me the opportunity to come and play for the Houston Astros, where I met wonderful teammates. And here tonight, uh, for one of the best, um, Jeff Bagwell. He was a, he's a great player. He's a Hall of Famer all around. And I told Jeff before uh, I got here on stage that I wasn't sorry. I, was, I, know I wasn't going to do as good as Coach Kubiak did to Andrew Johnson, but I tried my best. Um, when, I played the, when I played against the Astros earlier in my career, before I came here, I looked forward to play against the Astros because they played the game the right way. And one of the reasons it was Jeff Bagwell and Craig Biggio, because they taught every, everybody how to play the game the right way. So I'm very proud to be here tonight and, and to be part of this moment. This guy, they mean a lot to me. And um, it's been unbelievable. I, I, I'm thankful to be here. I was with them in uh, Cooperstown here tonight, so I guess I'm a big part of their life, a big part of their career. Their family, there is my family. Brad's coming up, his, his family also, Liz, everybody. So thank you very much. So, homeboy, I love you. I don't have anything else to say, but just come here and to get your Hall of Fame, Houston Hall of Fame award. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Jeff. Such an honor to be able to do your spectacular Houston Sports Hall of Fame ring. I know you've got a lot of hardware out there, but I don't think you'll have anything quite like this. We took your number and we infused it on the Houston Astros logo on a beautiful bed of pave, over 150 rubies and diamonds. Congratulations. Diamond cutters, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, you know, I, as I sit here tonight and watch everybody come up here and get honored and having a chance to play in the brothers in arms today, which was absolutely fabulous to see old friends, to think the people that I've met in this city. Uh, I came here back in 1991. I happened to play with Moises Alou. Moises and Austria Alou came from the Dominican Republic yesterday. They got on a plane at five o'clock in the morning to come see me and do this. Uh, I can't tell you how much I love you guys for that. Um, we are family. Uh, my comadre, my compadre, mucho amor. My love of my life is my wife, but 
Moises is a close second. Brad, Brad and Liz came in town for Craig. Um, it's, it's just such a wonderful thing to come from San Diego all the way here to, to, chair, you know, to have this moment with, with both of us. You know, when I, baseball, you know, every, every people ask me, they say, oh, you know, what do you, you miss playing? I don't miss playing, you know, it's playing is almost kind of like a job and it's fun and it's fun to win and all that, but it's the people that you meet, uh, the lives that you can impact, the lives that they impact me and my family. This is what it's all about. I look at Houston, I see people in this audience that I, I kind of grew up with. You, you guys are in different sports, whether it's football, basketball, um, soccer, all the major sports. You know, we've all grew up together. And I feel like Houston, this is family. Like we're all family here. Like we all root for each other. When we see each other, we always take time. I mean, trade truth, man. That was, I mean, that's pretty big for me, right? Trade the truth to do that. I mean, he's done so many great things in this city to watch how Houston has overcome so much, what we went through in Harvey, the freeze, all the other things that we overcome here. It's just, it feels good, doesn't it? It feels good to be a Houstonian. You know, Lance Berkman told me, I'll never be a Texan, but I can be a Houstonian. So I'll take it. My lovely wife, I would never be sitting here, or excuse me, standing here without you. Um, you mean everything to me and I, I can't repay you in this lifetime. My friends, um, friends of Jeff for being here. I can't thank you guys enough for being here. All the people that have supported me throughout my career, the good times, the bad times, and there was a bunch of both. I thank you for all of that. Craig and Patty Biggio, I've known you guys since 1991. Um, there's not much more I can say to that. We are locked at the hip when it comes to these things. Um, and I can't think of a better person ever to be locked at the hip with than Craig Biggio. And what he means to baseball, what he makes to this city, what Patty and Craig have done with the Sunshine Kids, everything that they've done has been first class all the way. To watch all his kids be born, and they're all wonderful in their own right, but to watch his son play in the major leagues, I mean, I, I was touched. Like, I, I could not stop thinking about it. I was crying watching Craig's kid. This kid that I, when I remember he was born, I mean, it's like the craziest thing, but we are family. And, and that's how I feel about all of y'all. I mean, this is my home. These are where my kids are bit, were born. They live here. I live here. I live here because I love Houston and I love the people of Houston. So thank you so much for this award tonight.